Are you still surprised? I am not. NIO has a big presentation, um, the ES6 announcement today, and they tanked the stock by minus 10%. So we have seen this a couple of times now, usually on earnings or any other big NIO event. Um, they, you know, sell off the stock. This time, uh, the supposed um, excuse is actually that the XPeng earnings uh, have been a disappointment. If you watched my channel before, I always mentioned like that XPeng might have trouble um, competing with Tesla um, because Tesla of course has reduced prices but also um, BYD is also you know quite aggressive so in this um, volume segment it's quite uh, a difficult competition and um, so, so far um, what I've seen from Xpeng um, wasn't really promising um, but I have to say like when I was at the Auto Shanghai I really liked the G6 to be honest um, but now today they presented even negative vehicle margins so for example if they selling a car they have more cost for producing that car that they're actually getting in revenues and that's not even profits just in revenues um, back into the company so that's of course um, not a not a great financial outlook there um, the, the cash position is still quite okay so that I have still some attempts to changing their strategy who knows maybe the g6 will be um, great but you know why do, should this have any um overlap with neo there um neo is in a different position of although margins have been down um, of course they are making money on each of the cards that they are selling um only that neo is investing more in r d so the gross margin um, that one is still not on a break-even level but anyways let's go back to what has been announced today and not so much actually to the es6 um, because this is, you know, just something which you can read up into the news. But um, maybe if you have also watched the live stream or maybe you haven't watched the live stream, actually, uh, then you possibly missed on something um, that I think is quite interesting. Um, I mentioned it in my video yesterday that I think um, Neo will be um, maybe announcing something regarding autonomous driving. What you see here and that was featured in the live stream is for the first time. I've never seen such footage before an ET7 um, driving fully autonomously to the battery swap station. Everything in this process is fully autonomous. So it's driving in there, getting the battery swapped. And then um, you will also see that the car is driving out again before actually the car notices that somebody is crossing um, the pedestrian here. Uh, it cares about that and then ramps onto the highway fully autonomously. And as I mentioned before in my video, I tested NOP Plus um, in China uh, before and I think currently it's actually the Chinese companies Huawei, Neo, NOP Plus and also Xpeng which are uh, leading the way in those uh, autonomous driving functionalities in China. Not so much Tesla. Um, they haven't had uh, many updates recently. Uh, and so for Tesla, it's a little bit, um, you know, more the basic ADAS functions. But there are rumors that Tesla might has you know got some news regarding Shanghai where they might be allowed to you know roll out some of their FSD programs but what we see here from Neo is for the first time actually this footage of the car driving itself um, on what supposed to be NAD um, which will be launched in only a couple of weeks I think um, I think that might be one of the news that we hear we will hear about in the earnings call and um, they also mentioned during this live stream that they will be um, having also in Shanghai a, a zone maybe that's similar to what Baidu is doing in which they will be um, allowing cars in a city also to make use of this fully autonomous driving functionality so a kind of a, maybe the first rollout and then I guess also from the fun um, functionality perspective this will be increasingly adding new functionalities but uh, what is interesting here is also about um, the battery swap station here because many people are usually criticizing battery swapping for the fact that it's an investment uh, and a larger investment than supercharging and we can talk um, you know about both the uh, the pros and the cons of um, battery swapping that's not um, the, the purpose of this video but what I think is interesting with these battery swap stations here is that already today each of these new battery swap stations built is fully autonomously ready for interchanging or replenishing um, the, the batteries and giving you a fully uh, charged battery. And as we've seen now with this demonstration here, Neo cars can automatically drive there, um, switch it, and then 
drive off. And um, of course, this is an infrastructure investment, um, which in the area of autonomous driving makes a lot of sense, right? Because um, first of all, it's quicker than supercharging. It's also not depleting the battery as much. Um, so um, this is a investment that already today is showing this potential. Whereas for the charging infrastructure, supercharging, it's clearly not ready for autonomous driving, right? So uh, the, the question is whether or not the bigger investment for battery swapping right now um, might actually in the long run be uh, worth the investment because um, the superchargers might actually turn out to be sunk cost uh, because none of the current uh, supercharger infrastructure is actually ready for a fully autonomous service um, as opposed to what has been shown here. So maybe Tesla can work on some solutions where the, the Optimus you know, can plug in uh, the cable for you. But um, battery swapping as of today is actually ready for a autonomous feature, um, future in which maybe at some point in time uh, you can actually you know, let your car drive to a battery swap station nearby to your home um, get a new battery and go back to you and then you can decide on your own uh, whether or not uh, which kind of autonomous functionalities you want to use or not right and so this is um what Neo is working on and um, is not very um, outspoken or outgoing in talking about, but which was kind of hindered here as an Easter egg in this current um, ES6 presentation, which of course was also quite a highlight for today. So anyways, that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, let me know in the comments down below how you think about uh, NAD subscription and uh, potential of battery swapping in a uh, future where autonomous driving um, will be available for even end customers and then uh, which role battery swapping will, will play as opposed to supercharging. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.